Yo, so we back in here for another edition of your mother. This episode is probably going to be a little bit more somber because, well, I can't always just bag on people and talk shit, right? I got to cover some type of seriousness, some, some cover some ground, shit that's really happening in this world. A 12-year-old threw some acid on an 11-year-old. I guess she got into an altercation with the girl's family member. And um, the little girl was a bystander. I guess she was just around. The 12-year-old threw some fucking acid on her. Now, I don't know... Where the hell a 12 year old gets acid from I couldn't find no pictures of the alleged suspect Or the suspect's mom I'm gonna assume I'm gonna go out on a ledge and just assume That it's a white person It was a white kid that did this Cause Niggas don't really be throwing acid on people Unless they like weird niggas that live in the suburbs Or in the UK Some shit like that But It's a picture of the black girl And her back All scarred up One thing I do like Is that the mom says she She want everybody prosecuted Now if the alleged suspect is a black kid and has a black mom, this speaks volumes to niggas don't let other niggas, like, they don't forgive shit. But if this is a white kid and a white mother, this might be one of the first in history where, like, niggas ain't trying to go for apologies. I don't want to shake your hand. We can't be cool. Motherfuck you and the horse you rode in on. So I applaud that. Considering they didn't show no pictures of the suspect or the suspect's parents, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they was white. Like, that's not some shit we like, especially 12 year olds. Like, what the fuck? Who thought, yo, let me go get some acid, come back and throw it on a little girl? But yeah, I hope the little girl makes a speedy recovery. Your mom said that it takes any time, it used to take 20 minutes for her to get ready. Now it takes two hours. It takes the girl three hours to, or 30 minutes just to take a bath. Um, they got to add medicine to her, her ointment to her burns, which takes another 20 minutes. So yeah, I hope she makes a recovery. The uh, suspect was. Offered a $10,000 bond. I don't know if they was released. Um, but I hope they get like 12 years in prison, right? At least 12. Uh, I mean, I, I would say 20, but that's a life sentence. And they didn't kill nobody. And they was kids. So, you know, they should be able to enjoy some of their youth. You know, that was a fucked up thing to do. If it was me, I would have probably shot the kid and the parent. Like, I'm tired of these motherfuckers grabbing guns that belong to their parents. Or grabbing acid that belong to their parents and going out and doing shit like this everybody gotta go if anybody going to jail it's gonna be me and i don't even got kids so that speaks values in any event if you like this episode click the subscribe button turn the notifications on and as always tell your friends and i'm out no one